because I am more than Asian. I am more than a woman. I am more than Letitia Chai. I am a human being. That was not a scene from the local strip club. No, that was the beginning of a thesis presentation by Cornell University student Letitia Chai. We've made excuses for unacceptable behavior, but I am done saying this is water because this is not a matter of you having a bad day. The Ivy League student was getting ready to give a presentation on refugee rehabilitation for her acting in public class. When she practiced the presentation earlier in the week, she opted for a button-down shirt and short shorts, and she got really triggered when her professor allegedly told her the outfit would distract men in the class and asked the girl, what would your mom think? My mom is a feminist gender sexuality studies professor, Letitia responded. She has dedicated her life to the empowerment of people in all gender identities, so I think my mother would be fine with my shorts. But Letitia sure showed this professor, proceeding to dress even more provocatively, and also convincing 28 out of 44 spectators of her presentation to do the same. And I ask you to take this leap of faith, to take this next step, or rather this next strip, <laughs> in our movement and to join me in revealing to each other and to seeing each other for who we truly are, members of the human race. <laughs> you know, Letitia's absolutely right. I'm only able to recognize fellow members of the human race when they're in their underwear. If you have your clothes on, I simply can't tell who or what you are. Now, the syllabus for the acting in public class does have a dress section which says, wear clothes and footwear that are comfortable and will allow you a free range of movement in class. For your performances, dress appropriately for the persona you will present. For example, how would you dress for a specific job interview? How would you dress when introducing a famous speaker at a particular conference? How would you dress to give a speech at a protest rally? But here's the thing, Letitia's speech wasn't some kind of slut walk spiel against rape culture or anything. No, she was talking about treating refugees as resources rather than burdens, a lecture that, outside of the ivory tower, would probably be made at the UN and in a bit more formal attire. Make no mistake, she donned this little getup, not out of relevance to her thesis, but entirely out of spite and to prove that she could. And even Letitia's fellow classmates seemed to think she overreacted. Almost all of them defended the professor in a statement. It was really surprising to turn up in class on the first day and find that 10 of the 14 students in class were people of color and or students from international backgrounds. We realized that this was a deliberate effort on the part of our professor to make sure that this class was inclusive and supporting of those from often disadvantaged backgrounds in the arts. This kind of effort is almost unparalleled in the PMA department and really revealed to us who our professor is. Yes, because this professor is not some right winger, but a fellow progressive who also judges people based on race. Isn't it fun watching these ideologues eat their own? I reached out to Cornell for more insight, but a spokesman politely declined comment. It turns out that in order for these indoctrination clinics to continue operating, there are people who actually have to care about things like donations. And for those individuals, public appearance and shame are things that still matter. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.